big believer that in whatever you do, there's a tremendous opportunity to make a difference. As Raphael was talking, it was clear what the policy goal was. The challenge was how are you going to do it? And that's pretty much how I would frame any problem. Once you figure out what it is you want to do, then you just have to figure out, well, how are you going to do it? And whatever the obstacles are, you have to figure out the plan over the obstacles or through the obstacles or under the obstacles, but that you always keep the goal in mind. This for me, Needle Exchange in San Francisco, was the single defining event of how you know, my career was set. Worst years of the epidemic, epicenter of San Francisco, highest per capita infection rate, highest rate of death, AIDS becomes the number one cause of death in men. It's like an unbelievable thing, right, overnight. And we had a common sense prevention, which was clean needles. You ask yourself, okay, so needle exchange is technically speaking illegal. Is there any countervailing law that you can find that might help you to make needle exchange happen, right? That is to say, if one law says you can't do this, but another law says you must do this, then sometimes you can make something happen. We couldn't get around the fact that it took a prescription to dispense needles, but state law allows counties to suspend laws in cases of public health emergencies. The board declared a public health emergency. The mayor signed the bill even though the county council at the time advised him that A, he could get arrested, and B, what's even worse for a politician, is he could be barred from running for any future office. But nonetheless, you know, we had a huge grassroots support for this, and he signed the bill. Needle Exchange was funded. Just to show how ludicrous this was, we had to renew the public health emergency every two weeks for nine years. Uh, San Francisco continues to exchange needles, and we not only save lives by doing that, but we taught California how to do it in other counties. So someone comes and tells you that something's illegal, I'm like, okay, how else could we do it? I mean, I understand that you, know, you can't do things just that are illegal without coming up with at least another law or a way around it. But I'm not moved just because you tell me that something good is illegal. I'm not gonna just back off. Here are some other examples. Women would come in for STD diagnosis and treatment, and they would have tremendous trouble getting their partners to come in. The male partners were very reluctant to come in. And so what would happen to the women is they'd get reinfected. What had been done unofficially, a gynecologist would just give a woman a prescription for her partner. But technically speaking, the California Medical Practices Act forbids the prescription of antibiotics by a physician without examining the patient. Okay, so let's go for the, do we have a countervailing rule? So Health and Safety Code also authorizes the local health officer to take all necessary measures to prevent the transmission of infectious diseases. Um, maybe I do have a way of having my providers do this. So I changed the policy. I wrote a letter to all my clinicians. As your local county health officer, I am authorizing you to send home prescriptions for men and women uh, to give to their partners to take. You know, in life, there are lots of ways to make a difference, and it's not just our work lives where we make a difference. So I'm a big believer that you make a difference when you're a good parent, when you're a good son, when you're a good daughter, when you're a good friend, when you, you know, help out other people, right? But that, that the goal of life, especially for people like you, you know, who are privileged by being smart and getting great education and, you know, having your lives together, then you know, the goal is, well, you know, how do we make a difference for people whose lives are not so together? And what's, you know, what's our you know, common responsibility you know, to everybody else as a way of appreciating you know, the luck we've had?